there, Dr. Lisa Faust here from Diversify RX, and I want to chat about semaglutide, terzepatide. I know there's been tons of chatter, and I've done previous video on why currently, as of today, mid middle of August, you can still compound terzepatide. I know people are getting some nasty cease and desist letters from Lily, but Lily is failing to either uh, understand the law or just ignore the law. I think a lot of this is personally PR stunts um, based on Lily because they're trying to discourage people from compounding. But terzepatide and semaglutide are both still on the shortage list, even though they're listed available. Being listed available is not what qualifies something as being on the shortage list. If it's on the shortage list, it's there. It doesn't matter if Lily says it's available. The FDA needs to know that they can prove that it's available and then it'll remove it off the list and you won't even see it there. Um, the fact that you see it there means that it's on the shortage list and you can compound. But moving on from that, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to chat with you. But moving on from that, what happens at some point in the future uh, when they do go off the shortage list? At some point they will. Um, either demand's going to go away, um, they're going to be able to actually ramp up production and, and meet supply. I don't expect that to happen anytime soon, but what happens when that does happen? Um, I am a big fan of diversification. Obviously, our company name is Diversify RX. And so you don't all want all of your eggs in one basket. Um, when I did weight loss program many, many years ago, it was HCG. And HCG was the thing to do. And we helped thousands of patients lose weight. Um, eventually, they made it to where you can't compound HCG. HCG. So you have to go on to something else. And there will always be something else. Something will always end and something new will always begin. But I think there's a big compounding opportunity that most compounders are overlooking because semaglutide and terzepatide just get all the attention. It's the, the way that it goes. But there's another peptide called tesofensine. And tesofensine is one of the few oral peptides. So you can actually compound it into a capsule. So all of you non-sterile compounders out there, in addition to your sterile compounders, can make these capsules. And and it is a fantastic peptide that helps with weight loss. It does a lot of the same things that you're familiar with, with the popular ones. Um, it's just not as popular. Uh, it hasn't taken the world by storm, but it is a fantastic opportunity. It's usually dosed in 0.5, 1, and 2 milligram. Usually 1 milligram is the most common um, dose used by patients. And it is one of the peptides that you can legally compound. And so that might be an option for you. And a lot of pharmacies, I think, are overlooking that opportunity. And so if you're concerned, either whether you're a compounding pharmacy, not compounding pharmacy, if you're not going to be able to sell uh, trisepatide or semaglutide from a 503B or 503A, if those eventually go away, you want to be ready for the next thing. And so I would say to start build up your tesofensine patients now. Um, there's many doctors out there that are actually looking for this. Those that are in the weight loss, um, holistic wellness peptide world, they're very familiar with tesofensine. And, but not a lot of pharmacies are. And so I think this is a great opportunity to start diversifying your weight loss products, offer other options. If any of your providers are nervous, they get the letter from Lily and they want to stop, even though right now they don't have to, some people would just rather not fight, going and moving to tesofensine might be a good option. So I just wanted to kind of share, share that with you guys. Um, there's always going to be something next, like no matter what opportunity is, and it's not just in pharmacy, in business in general, one opportunity comes that will go away at some point and another opportunity will present itself. And we have to be agile and adaptable in order to just hop onto that next opportunity um, and help serve our patients and help them meet the goals that they're needing to. So um, highly recommend you take, take a look at Tesofensine. If you have any questions, plop them down in the comments. I am happy to help. If you find this helpful or maybe you want to share it with another pharmacy owner, I would super appreciate it. And that would let us know the type of content that you're interested in. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.